Hey, what's going on with you guys? It's your own boy, Kihan, and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about the top five resources that I use to help me learn Japanese. I put in some work and time when it came to learning Japanese, so I ended up using and trying a bunch of resources, but I ended up narrowing down to the top five. All these resources, except for the last one, can be used for any language, but the last one's only Japanese, so. <laughs> that being said, I don't wanna waste no more time. Let's just get right into it. Tool number one, Anki. Anki is a tool that I have talked about in my last two videos. Um, <laughs> if you don't know already, Anki is a flashcard program that uses an SRS, a space repetition system that has an algorithm that only shows you the card when you're about to forget it. So when you're immersing and you're putting in new words to this deck, it really, really helps you remember your new vocab, grammar, and just words in general. It's a really simple tool yet super effective, highly recommend it. Honestly, it's not even that I recommend it, it's just that you pretty much need it to like learn it effectively. <laughs> One thing that I love about it is that there's already a huge community out there of people who used Anki. So there's so many pre-made decks out there that all you have to do is just download them and then just study them. This is how I learned Kanji when I was first starting out. I just found a pre-made deck online. Somebody was nice enough to just make it. And then I just studied it. <laughs> And then later down the line, when I started immersing and my Japanese slowly got better and better, I then made my own cards with my own sentences with vocab words that I was trying to learn. So this was a great way for me to learn new vocabulary and grammar. I would put up upon myself to put in at least 10 cards per day, and then I'll put them in by nighttime. And then by the morning time, I would study those 10 cards as well as review the previous cards that I needed to know. So yeah, I do highly recommend Anki. Number two is a extension called Subadub. What Subadub is, is a Chrome and Brave browser extension. I don't know if it's Firefox yet, could be, not sure. Anyways, it's an extension that turns all your Netflix subtitles into copy and pasteable text, which is super helpful for Japanese because there's so many times when you're learning words, but there's a kanji in there that, bro, I don't know how to, I don't know how to type that kanji. <laughs> But Subadub, it turns into copy and pasteable. So you can just copy and paste it into Anki, which is super helpful. And even if I'm not trying to put it into Anki and I just want to know what it means like really quickly on the spot, I can just really quickly copy and paste it and put it into a dictionary and find out and then continue on with the show. Really, really helpful. It's 100% free, not sponsored or nothing. In fact, this whole video is free, not sponsored. I use all these things myself, for my own money. I do genuinely think Subadub is a great tool. It genuinely saves so much time because before I knew about this extension, if I ever had a new word I wanted to look up that was in kanji format, I would have to go to the dictionary and then look it up radical by radical. And bro, that takes so much time. So just having a copy and pasteable text from like Netflix or whatever, it saves so much time. So Subadub is a must for Japanese. Tool number three is an app and it's called HelloTalk. HelloTalk is essentially social media for language learners. It sets you up with people who speak the language that you're trying to learn, yet they're trying to learn the language that you already speak. So if I'm learning Japanese, I would get set up with a bunch of Japanese people and they would get set up with me, like somebody who's fluent in English. So it's a really cool way of being able to speak, practice speaking, and even texting and writing. And there's a social media feed where people can post and write things in the language that they're trying to learn. So like, let's say I'm trying to make a post in Japanese. I can get corrected on it if I make any mistakes and vice versa, I can correct other people. So it's a really cool environment. It's a really cool space for language learners who want to just go out there and really practice speaking and writing. And this helped me quite a lot. I had a, a lot of conversations with randoms. <laughs> so yeah, before I had like these losers that I could talk to when I wanted to practice Japanese or just hang out with, with them, I would just go on this app and talk to randoms. Like honestly, I'd just be like, yo, random people who wanna call? And I would like always find like at least one or two people who were down to call. And I would just like every now and then, just, to, just so I don't lose my Japanese speaking ability, I would just like talk with random people about like life and stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> and the fourth tool is a VPN. Now hold up. I swear to God I'm not sponsored. 
but a VPN is genuinely so helpful when trying to immerse in a language. When you can have a VPN and just change your, your, your country to whatever country it is, in my case it was Japan, Japanese Netflix just had so many more shows and animes and dramas and movies that I could watch that I could use to immerse and learn new language from. And it was like a good selection too. And this goes for any place, whether it's Korean or Chinese or French or Spanish, there's just so many different options for shows. Now this is not a 100% like necessity, but it it's just so nice to have. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think I would have gone as far as I did if I didn't have a VPN to connect to Japanese Netflix or, or M Japanese Amazon Prime. It's honestly super nice to have because like YouTube and US Netflix or wherever country you're living in, Netflix can only take you so far. Having a VPN, whether it's like Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever it is, having a VPN and having access to all these new shows really does help you, in my opinion. I'm not sponsored, but the one I use was NordVPN. I'll leave a link down below if you want to use it. You can use anyone, honestly. And last, but definitely not least, this is a tool that's only for Japanese learners, but it was my most used tool by far. And that was Chisho and the app called Japanese. These are really powerful Japanese to English or English to Japanese dictionaries. I use these a lot in the beginning and even like during the intermediate like immersion phases to just look up new words and it was just so smooth and so nice. You look up something and you get everything. All the forms, all the conjugations, the polite form, ca casual form, the past tense, everything. It also tells you the JLPT level like numbers N1 through N5. JLPT is essentially like a big like Japanese test to like prove your proficiency or whatever. I couldn't really care enough to take it, but people, it is a goal for them to take that test. So if you do care about that, this dictionary actually tells you what level it is. I also couldn't care less about writing, but this dictionary actually tells you the strokes of how to write kanji. So if you do want to write kanji, this dictionary is for you. These dictionaries also have example sentences. So whenever you look up a word, a lot of the times it puts into a sentence so you know how to use it, which is really, really handy. And the best part about both of these, 100% free. I personally don't even have a problem paying for these. Like I use these so much and they're so clean and easy to use. Like, I don't know how these are free. Like, I personally would have been charged if I was a creator, but props to you, but bless you, honestly. <laughs> but those are the top five resources and tools that I use to help me learn Japanese. I hope it does help you along the way. If it does, please do leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> also, please comment down below. What tools have you guys used for your language learning? Whatever it is, whatever language it is, like not even Japanese, like whatever language you did, what tools have helped you the most? Please like, you know, say comment down below. <laughs> With that being said, best of luck and King Han out.